<laughs> no, nah, bro. But from the album, just from the album, it seems like I don't know if she was, but he was in love with her. They had been. Wait, wait, wait. This five three man was in love with right. Meg, who was five nine, right. five ten. They were actually like having like a thing going on. Oh wow! They were really in a relationship, bro. So when they hugged, his head was in her bosom. Yes, hmm. probably below it <laughs> at her navel. Shut up. Hey, you just dropped in with Aaron and Travis. A couple of words where we give our two cents about these millennial topics. Stay tuned for this next episode. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. What's going Check on, everybody? Hi. It is a couple of words. A couple of words. Back with another episode. Yay. This is your host, Travis. And, and your host is Aaron. Hey, <laughs> what we got? I know we got some fun facts. We're, We're going to start you off with a fun fact. Oh, you wasn't strong enough. Come no, back I again. wasn't sure. Come fun back again. Fact. No, a little stronger than that. Fun fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tough day, sorry. tough day. Okay. Tough day out of work. <laughs> I got you. So um, today's fun fact is actually going to be about money because today is Friday, which means it was payday for me. So I thought I'd bring it back for some money. All right. Fun fact of the day. Did you know if you have $10 in your pocket and you have no debt, you are wealthier than 25% of Americans. In other words, you're wealthier than close to 81 million people. Did you know that? I can see that. You want to hear my second fun fact? It's also about money. What is it? I was feeling really frisky with the money topics. Okay, okay. <laughs> Did you know quarters and dimes have ridges because people used to shave the edges of the coins because they were made of pure metal? Mm -hmm. Merchants had to weigh the coins to make sure they were receiving unshaved coins. The ridges made it impossible to shave them down. Coins still have ridges today, of course, even though they are no longer made purely of metal. Mm, even the cheap coins keep it. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Shout out to the fact that we can't change. Tradition. We don't change. It's tradition. For no reason. We're doing extraness. <laughs> All right, so that was kind of mellow yellow for the fun fact, but are you ready for the culture? Oh, the culture. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. What we got today? This for the culture question is brought to you by Erin and her great memory. Lies. <laughs> Lies told on Twitter. In 2009... Kanye West got on stage during the singer's acceptance speech, stating the famous, I'ma let you finish, but Beyonce had the best videos of all time. Who was the singer that he interrupted, and what was the award show? Taylor Swift, and I want to say it was the MTV award show. Is that your final answer? Yes. That is incorrect. Grammy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who was that? It was music, right? I don't know. You tell me. Are you still guessing? Yeah. I thought they got Grammys. They got MTV. They got the other Oscars and Academy or movies. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had the best video of all time. You, you can say that again, but that's not going to bring what the award show. As I said, this for the culture is brought to you by Aaron's impeccable memory. Yeah, right. You can Google that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, I do. I remember what was it was. The, it was the VMAs. Oh, nobody cares. One about of the them. best videos of all time. That's why I kept saying it. I never watched the VMAs ever. What? Ever. That's when Kanye showed up with that bottle of Hennessy and all those lines shaved into his head and he was dating Amber Rose. Yeah, everybody saw clips of that. That doesn't mean that. I watched it. I know you watched it. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. You had better things to do. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like high school bro I was not paying attention to the, that I paid attention uh, to everything that happened online afterwards on Twitter okay okay everything on Twitter what I, are you on for the culture what Owen I got that one though Taylor Swift you know and I, I said one. and what was I got a whole award show. I got a whole bunch of point fives I'll tell you that much you have a crap load of point fives mm -hmm. that equal up to what three 
No, they equal up to like four. <laughs> no. I'm on four now. No. I'm telling you, I'm on four. We're on episode, what, 13? Yeah, I've been counting. <laughs> you suck. You got zero. Hold on. You only gave me one. You ne- you never gave me another chance, right? <sighs> yeah. Fine. Then. Next episode, yeah. uh, you're going to do the For the Culture. Yeah. You already, I can't believe you went back at me after you felt how it feels. It does. I it feels very nah, hard. Nah, nah, nah. Let us know if y'all want us to do a For the Culture Jeopardy show where all we do is just straight up For the Cultures. I might want to see that. What else? You know you want to play. You know you want to be the main one playing. You just want to try to beat me. Because <laughs> you know I get down when it's competition. Whatever. So this um, episode's kind of we're, we're kind of carrying the money topic along into the stimulus checks. How many of y'all got y'all's on time earlier? Because I didn't get my check until like a month later. I got mine right on time like the Lord. Whatever. I worked right with this girl time. who got a stimulus check and she was like, I bought a toaster and a blender and I'm still here without a check. <laughs> she was like, what? Um, this isn't fair. What did you buy with your stimulus check? I'm just curious. Mine rolled right into my uh, my Roth. Uh, ooh, ooh. Just, Black man with a Roth? Ooh. A Roth IRA, yeah. Oh my gosh. What does IRA stand for? Girl, can you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Girl, continue. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm just saying when I got my check, it went straight into savings as well. I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm very irresponsible with money in general. Great. Mine went into my savings. I didn't do anything special. I didn't go on trips. I, I was hey. not in Jamaica. Hey. Didn't get any bundles. I seen some Jamaica trips. <laughs> I did too. I was slightly <laughs> jealous. <laughs> I was like, how did they let y'all in there? Yeah. There's a lot like, of New Orleans trips too. A lot of New Orleans trips. Mm-hmm. I wonder how many children were created during quarantine and stimulus check we era. We shall see in nine months. We <laughs> shall see. Are you a stimulus check baby? I don't know. <laughs> stimulus check baby. <laughs> <laughs> but this update is just to kind of let y'all know we're supposed to be getting this another stimulus check. They've been negotiating the second stimulus check for months now. So I just want to let y'all have another little Aaron shouted update. Okay. So in essence, we still don't have no money. There still is no stimulus check babies part two that will be conceived that I know mm-hmm. of currently. Yeah. That was your news update. Ding, 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 ding. But they gonna keep on. They gonna keep on putting extra stuff in the bill, cause we only getting one point six either way. Hey, even with the extra, I just want to know: Can I get some more money? You can once they start putting Green New Deal stuff in there, trying to get. Oh, we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna try to end fossil fuels. Look at this for coronavirus. What are you doing? <laughs> Why do y'all keep trying to hijack? They don't, they don't, they, we're not going to get one, bro. We're not going to get one until after election. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I believe we're not going to get a similar check until after election, no matter who wins. I mean, it's just not going to happen until afterwards. I mean, I can go outside and try and holler for a dollar mm-hmm. as much as I want. Yeah. But uh, this chick is not getting any blender or toaster money. Okay. No Jamaica money. No bundles money. Yeah. I wanted laser hair removal too. If both sides would just stop playing politics, we can we can make the world a better place. We all need somebody to lean on. But speaking of lean on, you had something to tell me. You called me oh, last time. Oh. So uh you know the Meg the Stallion and Tory Lane's issue? I follow that very diligently on the Shade Room. Okay. Shade Room ain't enough. Have you listened <laughs> to the album? No. Daystar? It is no. great. No. No. It's a great album. Tory how, Lane's album? How tall is that man? Is, is he 5'3"? On the album, he said he was 5'7", but he's I think lying. he's 5'4", 5'5". Five, five. He's 5'3". Five, I think 5'5". Five, five. I'm going to give him 5'5". Five, five. He's lying. Five. Look, he Lil has Wayne, Air Forces on. Don't look, that add, doesn't that add <laughs> an inch? <laughs> Because look, Lil Wayne and Kendrick Lamar, they both five six. So that's also a lie. That's also false. You think that's you think that's shorter? A solid five foot four. But is that was his doctor that said that, bro? 
Kendrick Lamar gives me solid five foot four vibes. But I remember doc- syrup sandwiches and grandma allowances. But his doctor allowances. said that. You know who his doctor is? Yeah. Dr. Dre. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and why did I say yeah? <laughs> no, nah, bro. But from the album, just from the album, it seems like, I don't know if she was, but he was in love with her. They had been. Wait, wait, wait. This 5'3 man was in love with right. Meg, who was 5'9", right. 5'10". They were actually, like, having, like, a thing going on. Oh, wow. They were really in a relationship, bro. So when they hugged, his head was in her bosom? Yes. Hmm. Probably below it. <laughs> at her navel. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> hey, hey, but this dude can rap, bro. He can really rap. He, Seriously. He done turned up. He done turned up. He can really rap. But um, my favorite song is this song called Most High. That one go hard. But I okay, got, so did he shoot her? Is since you're saying that? Oh, from his they angle, they were in love. So this seems like this was a crime of passion. His angle is that he was actually set up. So from what he's saying is that I don't know if it's Kylie Jenner, but it was some girl named Kylie. He was in the pool with her. Meg The Stallion got angry that they were vibing a little bit. Okay. And then all of a sudden, she ended up having a, a shot in her foot. Girl, why are you angry? You got all the best lace fronts there is known to man. Smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? But <laughs> all the lace fronts. But um, basically, he was like, he don't know how she got shot. He don't understand how. What? He was like, she was good when he saw her last, and all of a sudden, she was shot, and they were trying to help her. That's all he know. And he was like, why is all these people coming at me? They don't even know the truth. They don't even know what happened. He was like, I don't even know what happened. And Did, Meg, wait, hold on, Meg hold on. won't tell the truth. He's saying Meg won't tell the truth about what really happened. Did she reason. ever come out and say who shot her? Not necessarily. She really never. She really kept it kind of blank-ish. Dang, you need to be an urban investigative reporter. And um, Stay tuned, so, y'all. Oh, yeah. Travis oh, yeah. will tell us who shot Tupac. Yeah, I'm going to let you go. I already know who shot Tupac. Are you serious? Yeah, I ain't going to tell them. I'm a, <laughs> that's another episode, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but they are, they kind of fell in love because they found a bond between each other because they both lost their moms. And so they kind of like bonded with each other because of that. I don't know if it, it was around the same time that they lost their moms, but it, they both lost their moms and ended up bonding. I can only name one Tory Lane song. Yeah. And he was like, you know, the record companies, they don't want him to be with her. He just went independent and bought all his music. But he said he don't understand how she got shot. Ooh, is this a classic case of trap conspiracies? I don't know, bro. I don't oh, know. Oh, we need some theme music we for Trav Conspiracies. And Meg Thee Stallion's uh, <laughs> music videos have been getting pretty weird lately, but... Trav Conspiracies. I don't know what's going on, bro. I actually really like this one. Stay tuned, yo. So you, what you're trying to say is, when mm. they were at a party, somebody shot Meg, set Tori up for trying to go independent. No, I don't know about all that. I'm just oh. saying that he No, that's said what I'm that, saying. That's what he this said. This is a part of Trav conspiracy. <laughs> now I'm rooting for him. <laughs> I got to I got to listen to the album fully again <laughs> to get the full point. Now I'm he got rooting. a bunch of tracks where he sound like Drake though, like where he like spilling out. Like, really? Everything. Yeah. And he oh, got no. other tracks. He got other tracks where he sound like somebody else, but yeah. Now I'm really rooting for both of them. This sounds like like a classic case of like forbidden love. Yeah, and he be, he keeps saying like he will take her back. Like he keeps saying like I would take you back, but you keep oh lying to the people. Oh my gosh, Meg, if you're listening, I will be a mediator for y'all. Okay? Lord. All right. Lord. I can talk in this soft tone like this. This is I've been told this is very relaxing by my patients. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I can do it. He was Aww. like, that boy Jay don't want me to be with her, dog. Oh, man. Jay don't want me to now be with her. Now I'm rooting for you, Tori. 
Dang, but you gotta real stay scene. in your lane. You better stay real, bro. You better say all the truth and nothing but the truth. So I don't you know. In my world, well, guess what I found out, Trash? What's going on in your world? Your yes. neck of the woods. Of my hood. <laughs> you know, Instagram turned 10 years old on the 6th. They turned 10? Yeah. Or 5? 10. 10? 10. 10. They 10? Are they on 10 yet? Happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy to you. Happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I just want to um, do kind of like an Instagram memoriam. I mean, shout out to IG. They created nothing but IG models, flat tummy tees, yes. crap loads of Forex, bam, and um, yeah, that's true. pyramid schemes. Yeah. Tons of Instagram moms posting photos of their family all in coordinated outfits with each other. Pictures of you and your boyfriend. Very much so staged. Ain't that right, Travis? Oh, they very staged. But you still smile, though. Yeah, they they did. (laughs) I'm going to have bad knees soon trying to get your angles. (laughs) Trying to get your main angles because of Instagram. I ain't Neither. never hear angles until Instagram came out. Instagram did create angles. Instagram is the creator of angles I don't and think filters. They, I don't think they created angles. I think they were like a, a pioneer. Trying to, to get them angles yeah. with your phone out. <laughs> Lord, my goodness. Please. You know, people like Drake thrives on Instagram. Yes. It's the, they're the definitions of sliding into DMs. You know, Instagram has created so many family dynamics. Well, Twitter was a slide in with DMs first, I think. Uh, yeah, you're slide. right. You're right. But IG was a true slide. IG was the slip and slide of DMs. Yeah. Or Snapchat me that if it's cool. <laughs> oh, put your thing on live. I'll give you $1,000. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, we're going down yeah. IG memoriams, okay? Oh Shout out, Boosie. Gosh. Put your thing on live. I'll give you $1,000. I'll give you $1,000. <laughs> I'll give you $1,000. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did you ever watch that video, that, that IG live? I Have caught you one. watched a Boosie IG live? I caught, yeah. You it's, have? It's ratchet. Is it really ratchet? It's stupid ratchet. If, would you keep it on your phone if your mom walked by? Negative. Heck no. <laughs> You don't know what's going to happen, bro. <laughs> and those girls be so thirsty, too. Yeah. But those are the main girls who create OnlyFans. And I don't knock those entrepreneurs. Man, I just saw, like, they was making millions. Like, Cardi B made millions off of OnlyFans. Travis, recently. I'm telling you. No, ain't no I'm telling you. I know what that's going to you have good feet, Travis, hear me out. Tiger got an OnlyFans. He made, like, millions of dollars, too. Wait, what is Tiger doing on OnlyFans? I don't know. You know he had a, a porno movie he had made a while ago a long time ago yeah that flopped at the box office i don't even know i don't know it might or not i have no idea i'm just assuming if there was a box office it flopped but hear me out with the only fans mm-hmm. okay feet i got nice feet all i do is just take pictures of them okay boom we gonna make money travis we gonna make money all you gotta do even your feet too all we gotta do is oil them down what you gonna do? You gonna you gonna be like doing get the, the ring right? All you gotta do is get the ring light, get the video. You gonna get put some strawberries oil. on your feet? I mean yours or mine. I mean feet or feet. You ought to go to to the uh, the nail dresser. The nail dresser. The, you ought to go Who is to the nail the, dresser. The, right, chill out, man. <laughs> chill out. <laughs> Well, the man. nail shop. The nail shop. Mm-hmm. And videotape while the lady doing your feet. And you, you could. Yeah. And that could be an OnlyFans segment. Yeah. That's stupid, Aaron. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> and watch, watch. Somebody, Somebody listening gonna to this is going to do it. And they're going to take off. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. So, um, you know how I'm trying to be like cultured? Not cultured. That's the wrong word. More educated. Mm-hmm. In terms of politics. So you saw the trendy thing with Mike Pence's fly on his head. That's not educated with politics. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> I guess. Maybe it is. So, <laughs> maybe. Because the gimmicks come into play with politics. The gimmicks do come into play. The come but into the play. thing with the fly on Mike Pence's head is now the, the fly made a Twitter. He got a Twitter for him? Yeah. It's <laughs> that boy's trying to look at his notes. <laughs> you too calm up here. You ain't like Trump. <laughs> What you doing over here? <laughs> no, the fly legit did create a Twitter. It's like, <laughs> the fly 
Clown Life and Sad Twitter, and then there's a Halloween costume now. Oh, that's lit. <laughs> Where there, there's a little gray wig and a small little fly on it. Oh, and I was like, that would be so funny to go at. <laughs> They're going to be looking at you like, sir, what are you? I'm like Pins. I'm like Pins. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't tell? <laughs> Nah. Oh, I can see it. Y'all skin it. tone is kind of close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like I said, Travis, you know I'm trying to stay up to date with the politics and whatnot. I see you. I see you, bro. Talking about the issues and the fly was the biggest thing that really popped off of me. That's a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. I'm growing up. Yes, you is. Look Just at that. for me. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> You're a regular Steve Cobra. Um, anyways. Um, oh, I know who that is. Yeah. I have to stop and think. Yeah. <laughs> Hit him with the Kawhi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Sorry. All right, but that's all we got for y'all today. Yes. We're going to see y'all again in a week. In one week, we release every Sunday. Releasing every Sunday. We shall holla at y'all. Make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and follow us on ig at a couple of words at the couple of words i'm sorry i said that wrong at the it's couple a blessing of it's a it's always a blessing <laughs> i try so hard yeah when you fall you just stand back up we fall what you doing after that and we get up god bless <laughs> i'll see y'all in the next one i'll let y'all bye bye Check them out. Check them out.